Hello YouTube and happy Thanksgiving. I literally was in the middle of cooking and I said to myself, you know, why not show YouTube how to make the easiest thing for Thanksgiving potlucks at work, school, or any potluck, or even at home. Stay tuned. I'm going to be making candied yams or sweet potato casserole. I don't know what you guys call it. But I already boiled my yams and here are the ingredients that you're going to need. We have brown sugar, vanilla, almond extract, maple syrup, that's the secret ingredient right there, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, sweet milk, condensed milk, leche, whatever you call it. And walnuts are optional as well as raisins are also optional. Usually I soak my raisins in rum overnight, but I totally wasn't even thinking about it. So since I didn't, I'll actually have to pour, but that's also optional. So to make peeling easier, I always just boil my yams first or boil my sweet potatoes first. And then I use this masher and I mash it up like mashed potatoes. I already started mashing it before I started recording. So as you guys know, I always say, you know, season to taste when I post the recipes because honestly, it's up to you and it's up to the crowd because at my house, you know, we got to watch sugar and cholesterol and all that. So I literally just, you know, sprinkle. Can you guys see this? I just sprinkle um, and season to taste. But I can post some measurements in the description box. For you guys who are just all extra OCD precise with it, but really I just sprinkle. <laughs> I sprinkle it to taste, okay? I can say when I'm using cinnamon, I always um, try to be really cautious with that because cinnamon does have like sometimes an overbearing taste. So just be careful with that one. And I say maple syrup is my secret ingredient because when I first learned how to make this um, a few years ago from this Mexican lady, she didn't use it. She used everything like, you know, common stuff. And I was like, well, I like maple syrup and I'm going to try the maple syrup. But what I can say is I will measure the sugar because that's important. Generally, I don't like to do anything more than half a cup of sugar. Like I... I can't because, you know, to top off the candied yams, I'm going to be putting these marshmallows on top of it when I put it in the oven. So that's going to have, you know, another sweet effect. So I've added all my dry spices and I go ahead and use the same masher and I just twist the masher to combine. And also you can fold in the ingredients with your spoon or whatever. But I find this method pretty okay. Now is when I'm going to start adding all the optional ingredients. I will be using unsalted walnuts, California sun dried raisins, and Ray and Nephew Jamaican rum. But I will only be using one capful. Okay, maybe two is fine. I'm also adding one tablespoon of milk. This is unsweetened almond milk, but you can use whatever milk, whole milk, vitamin D milk, 2%, 1%, whatever milk. And I'm just stirring everything, combining all the ingredients together. It's very hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time. So sorry about that. But once it gets to, you know, like mashed potato consistency, um, you can put it in your oven proof container. Spray with non-stick cooking spray, of course. And here I am just spreading it out evenly. My pan is a little small. I couldn't find the bigger one that I wanted to use, but any size pan is fine. I can't say the benefit of using a larger pan is you get to use more marshmallows because here I just used one bag. <laughs> 